boys and girls. Welcome to London. Welcome to Regent Street, just there behind me. It's April, and that's what I'm going to share with you. A little of life here in town this month. First up, it's Easter. Easter falls on the first weekend of April this year, which means the first two bank holidays of the year, Good Friday and Easter Monday. So for many lucky Brits who don't have to work, it's a four day weekend. I thought first up, I'd share some of the uh, traditional food and drink for the Easter weekend. So I'm going to head to one of London's best bakers, which is just here by Carnaby Street, just off Regent Street, right ahead, and get a uh, Easter tradition, a um, hot cross bun. Bread Ahead have a bakery and bakery school over in London Bridge at Borough Market and another in London's Chelsea. They make phenomenal bread, cakes and pastries and are especially renowned for their donuts. They also have this handy store and cafe here on Beak Street in the heart of Soho, just off Carnaby Street. Generally speaking, hot cross buns are quite plain by modern baking standards. A simple bun sweetened a little with currants or raisins and a little spice like cinnamon and or citrus fruit peel and feature a cross on top. I'm quite sure there are hundreds of variations of the recipe. Bakeries traditionally sold them and people ate them on Good Friday, the Friday before Easter Sunday. Today many people will eat them and enjoy them throughout the season. The history of these little buns is hundreds of years old. Apparently back in 1592, selling them here in London at any time other than burials, Good Friday or at Christmas was banned. But I guess that law no longer stands. We have other things to worry about today rather than sticky buns. Things have changed since 1592 and hot cross buns are no longer on the Class A list. Okay, success. Got the hot cross bun. Now, normally, I have these buttered. That there is a hot cross bun. Cross a bit wonky on this one, but um, see how it tastes? No butter. I mean, it's pretty good. Some of it is dry. Um, not the buns not dry. Without it'll be uh, less dry. Without a bit of butter or something in it. Um, be yeah, pretty good on its own. I guess it's fresh. Um, right, another popular uh, gift at this time of year at Easter: chocolate Easter eggs. So. I thought I'd take this opportunity to uh, show you some of London's finest chocolate shops. Great spot to get Easter gifts, Easter eggs, and uh, a little tour of London's chocolate shops. Be helpful all year round if you're looking for a uh, gift chocoholic in your life. Actually, I'm going to head up Carnaby Street to the first chocolate shop. 